Hello and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel with the Car Sim and Race Driver show and today's video is all about the G29 Logitech which is the wheel and pedal set that has proved to be one of the most popular pedal and steering wheel combinations you can get for sim racers. So you might be wondering is it actually worth a shot? Is it worth your money? Well I would have to say it definitely is but there are a few ifs and little problems and issues that you might want to know about. That's why I've made this video. Now, first of all, the Logitech G29 pedals and steering is a great combination. Now, I've got this uh, play seat here behind me, which I'm sitting in, and it's round about £156 thereabouts. If you go onto most of the main online stores, you can get it from places like Curry's um, and also from Play Seat Direct. This is the Play Seat Challenge seat, as you can see in the back. It says that on, on the back and it goes really, really well with the G29 uh, steering wheel and pedals. Now, the great news about the G29 steering wheel and pedal set is that it's really easy to put together. In fact, the whole thing, including the play seat challenge, took me less than 25 minutes of a lunch break to put together. Now, I'm not great at DIY, so you could probably do it better than me. In fact, it might only take maybe 15 minutes to 20 minutes uh, nowadays as things have moved on. But it's very, very easy to put together. It's mainly little bits of Velcro that you put around the frame for the seat um, and then it kind of stretches. It all comes pretty much in one piece as well. So it's very, very easy um, to put together. And it's pretty much the same for the actual steering wheel and pedals. Uh, everything's connected with wires. One of the key things you do need to look out for though is as you're building it, make sure as I undo my set here, which you'll see, it's got two little screws on each side of the hub and that comes off as you'll see here. Now you can just see that there are some wires round about here and what you need to make sure is that you keep your wires in the lines that they're supposed to be in otherwise they can end up fraying which actually happened to my first set and I had to get a new one all sorted out. So you can see I'm not really a person with very many DIY skills but even I can make it work and to be fair this set is over three years old and the only problem I've had is because one of these wires actually frayed due to my own mistake the power cable um, stopped working but I was able to get a replacement from another very good friend and sim racer who was able to send me a replacement and it was just simply the power adapter but in the most part all of this should work really well now you'll see as well you've got these um, kind of clip-ons these are the, these are the bits that the screw is attached to and then you've got a metal base which I'll show you here you can see here this is the metal base that it simply goes on to so all you need to do is make sure the screws are right down to the, the furthest that they can be away. And then it goes on to that quite easily. And then, oh, I don't want to broadcast this. But, uh, there we are. I'll go back to that. And then you just screw them back in like that. And then on that side as well. Now one of the things it can be a little bit of a problem is that if you're new to using a steering wheel and pedals that especially don't let your young children use it at the start because they're more likely to kind of pull down on the wheel and if you pull down on the wheel it will actually come loose and once or twice um, the kids have actually pulled it right off um, and then of course it falls and the rest of it and you can damage the wheel mainly cosmetic damage um, but nothing more but it is um, a little bit annoying then um, that comes to another bit of the downside there is a little bit of flex certainly in this generation of um, the play seat challenge and of course this affects the wheel a little bit it's more it's okay for most things but if you're using it a lot you will notice that so you need to make sure that everything is as tight as it can be um, to get back the most from your gameplay but it's it's a great feel it actually feels really really nice and you get good feedback obviously on the different games you can change it to whatever you need to do um, but it's a nice combination 
Sometimes the little wheels, you can see the little or uh, orange wheel here, um, when you're doing brake balance on Gran Turismo, it can take a few goes to get that right because it doesn't always seem to connect that well and you might find yourself either doing too many or too little. But the basic um, dials and everything like that is very, very easy to program. Most of the games as well, when you do uh, attach the wheel to it, um, they are, they're already set up for the Logitech G29. So it's pretty good. Of course, now there's the G29.0, I think oh, it's a new one, updated version. But it's definitely a very, very good entry level video. And I think you can have hours and hours of fun, which indeed I've had over the last three years of using such a combination. And as you can see, I've got a set of Corsa probably just on the screen there, as you see. So games like that, it's absolutely no problem at all. There are a few wires. You've got this wire that goes in. You need to make sure that that's plugged in. Otherwise, it simply won't work. And then you've got obviously a power in the mains cable that goes out to the main socket. But other than that, it's really, really easy. The instructions do actually work. And I think overall, if you're looking for a really good um, steering wheel and pedals combination, along with a decent seat, um, it's definitely worth a punt. The pedals, um, they do move around, uh, you know, yeah, there's a reasonable amount of flexibility. I'm five foot eight um, and also I'm a bit overweight, as you can see. So they do actually um, accommodate my size quite well. I'm about 15 stone. <coughs> thereabouts um, so it's not too bad um, and it's relatively comfortable um, to sit in for even quite long uh, periods of time when you're playing your games it's not too bad um, there's two little knobs on the um, pedal set there which you can move and unscrew basically and then that allows you to move the pedals in or out in fact I've had my seven-year-old son play on this as well just by putting in some cushions and I was able to bring the pedals as close as possible and he, he was just able to make it all work. But it's a great value. I would definitely recommend the set overall. If you're wanting something obviously a bit more specialised, then yes, there's a hundred other sim combinations or more you could, you could have. But if you're setting out and you want to get your first steering wheel and pedals and de decent seat combination, the Challenge Play Seat along with the Logitech G29 is definitely worth a shot. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, hit the like as well. That would be fantastic. And we'll see you very soon in the next video and on our live streams. So take care. Have a wonderful new year. And bye just now.